All right, first thing you're going to do, uh, I find it easier when I'm folding, if I put the ruler across that dotted line, if I put the ruler across the dotted line, then I can grab the edge and fold up to the ruler. That makes it a little easier to fold along that straight line, especially when you're dealing with this thick of paper. Now, if you're going to fold it, if this was your top, then you'll have to fold it the other way. But I made it to where the dotted lines were on the bottom. So if you are using this side as your top, I'd fold it this way, then come back and use the fold line to fold it up the other way. That way I still have a line to use against my ruler. So that now I fold it in that direction and the dots are up. You don't have to use the ruler. If you'd rather just fold across, that's fine. I just find this is usually a little easier. So now I'm going to do that to the same thing to the other side. So that it's folded up on both sides. I want the front to kind of have that bend to it. So it should be basically at a 90 degrees. Both sides should be at a 90 degrees, like so. All right, so that is how the skimmer will sit. It'll sit up on those two folds. Next thing, as we start using the tape, it definitely gets more difficult. Um, if you mess up some of these areas, your skimmer won't work well. That doesn't mean it can't be fixed, but it's easier if you do it right the first time. So follow the directions carefully. Uh, these are our three other pieces we have. We have the skimmer, or the um, air scoop for the skimmer, and then the two fins. So I'm going to go ahead and put the fins on. And the fins actually will go inside that little crease all the way up to where you cut. And the easiest way to start is by stick going all the way up there and taping it on the outside first. So like so. So we can get the tape to show. Can't really see the tape, but I put a piece of tape right there. So that my fin's on there. It's going to kind of bend outward. We're going to fix that in a minute. So again, watch the other fin. I take the fin like so, and I'm going to put it in between right there, flush with the ground. Then I'm going to put a little piece of tape on the outside. I'm going to make sure it's flush with the back, back of the skimmer. So now I have my two fins attached and taped on. It's very important that you do not have tape sticking off of the bottom. It, the tape cannot go downward all the way uh, to the bottom of the skimmer. You shouldn't have any tape coming off the bottom. So if you guys get stuck at any of these stages, I can help you as we go, or I can help you uh, as soon as it's all assembled. There's only a few more tapes, but the last couple are a little tougher. I can help you, but uh, just watch real quick. So right now, you should have your fins on, just taped onto the outside. Now, I don't want you to do these next steps. I want you to watch them first, then do them. Okay? So watch the next step. This back flap, you know that we cut. So if I show you the bottom of it, this can bend down. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take that back flap that I cut and hold it to the desktop and then pinch the two fins on it to where that holds that down. While that's being held down, just at the very back side, I'm going to put a little bit of tape about halfway up my fin. I'm going to fold it down to the bottom of that scoop 
to where when I'm done taping both sides, not only should this help my fin stand straight up, this also makes sure that that back air spot is flush with the ground. It should almost be touching the ground. If it's not touching the ground, or the more that it doesn't touch the ground means the less air gets trapped, which means the less your skimmer will skim and the more it'll just drag across or it won't catch enough air to hold it up. So if I look at the back side of the skimmer now, notice there how it's touching or almost touching. Now, my fins are still not standing straight up. Here's how you fix that. If your fins aren't standing straight up, I'm going to put a little thin piece of tape, a tape, tape it a little higher, hold the fin exactly where I want it, and push the tape down. Gets a little bit closer to standing straight up and down. So I'm going to do the same thing, get a thin piece of tape, Tape it towards the top of the fin, stand it up, push down, and there my fins are both standing straight up and down, or very close, and my air scoop, or my air flap in the back is pushed down. Alright, I'm going to go on. Um, you guys can always come back to the spot in a minute, or I can help you in a second as well. The hardest part probably for this whole thing is the air scoop. Now on this air scoop, I'll zoom in a little here, you've got those dotted lines. This again, the ruler will help you. Well, I get my finger under it. I'm going to put the ruler right there on that dotted line and fold up to the ruler again at a 90 degree, standing straight up. Same thing on the other one. So that you end up with your air scoop like so. So the crucial parts right now, it's it'd be good if your fins stand somewhat straight up and down. They don't have to be perfectly straight up and down. The bottom of the back of the skimmer needs to be almost touching, if not touching the ground. You've taped it to where it's downward. Okay. Now, the next important thing, the skimmer. It's got a wide end and a skinny end. The skinny end is the front. So that's going underneath my skimmer, and it's going to face the front. It's kind of tough there, but see how the skinny end goes inside, inside, the skimmer's body and should face the front. It should fit in there pretty much exactly. I'm going to make sure that the front is touching the bottom of the body of the skimmer and the back is touching the bottom of the body of the skimmer. Then while I'm doing while I double check that, this is the hardest place to take. I usually do here is get just a thin piece of tape, tape the top first, which you don't have a whole lot of room. Do not let tape stick over the top. That's going to cause friction. Make it to where your skimmer doesn't go very well. So you end up taping it in. Let me zoom in. There you go. So you should be able to see that a little better. I taped in just like that. Mine's kind of sticking over the edge. 
So I'm going to end up going back and ripping that off real quick. So I ripped that off so one's sticking over. So notice there you can see where I taped. Notice you can barely tape that side. It's really tough. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. So again, I'm going to start at the top. And then I'm going to tape down to the air scoop. Also notice I did leave some room in the front. You don't have to have done that, but if you don't do that, we can't really shoot with rubber band really well later, if you want to try that. So, that's where my air scoop is. Notice again, it's closer down in the front. It is not level with the bottom of the body. It's closer in the front, farther away in the back. Just a little bit off the front. So that if we look, that's the way the front looks from the front angle. Okay. My wings are doing a great job holding up. This isn't the best tape for the wings for sure. My, your guys' tape will work better than this masking tape, I think. But again, you can kind of fiddle with the wings. Last thing. If you have problems with this not catching enough air, you'll notice back here along my wings, I have some gaps. It wouldn't be a bad idea to go in and put just a little bit of tape there to seal it, kind of act as a sealer, okay? So that's the basics of how to create that.